We at PwC are proud to be long-standing sponsors for the Women of Excellence Gala. Recognizing leaders who make a difference, act with integrity, and care for others is core to our values. You can only reimagine the possible if you dare to challenge the status quo, innovate, and have an open mind to possibilities. We congratulate everyone who's won tonight. You've made a difference in our community and stand as an example for us all. PwC is particularly proud to recognize Heather Hiscox in the business and professions category. To Londoners, Heather is a familiar voice and face. Most of us are fortunate to begin our day with Heather's welcoming presence on CBC News. From her early days on London radio waves to today's international media presence, Heather's energy, passion for transparency and pursuit of truth have inspired all that she has reached. She truly reflects our PwC core values and has made a difference to our community. Heather, on behalf of us all at PwC, congratulations on this well-deserved recognition. I nominated Heather because she is the epitome of leadership and excellence in the Canadian broadcasting industry. She's worked in media for the past 30 years, having had her start here in London in radio with CJBK and FM 96. What motivates me? That's easy. It's my love of Canada. I cannot wait to get into the office every morning to tell the ever-changing story of our country. Uh, to talk to Canadians, to talk with Canadians. We learn together every morning about Canada and our place in the world. And my viewers are, I feel a deep connection to them and they inspire me further. I'm so grateful that they continue to place their trust in me and I would never want to let them down. My career moment, it's going to get some eye rolls, I can tell you, but bear with me because you have to think times are different now than they were back in 1981. But in 1981, I was 16 years old. I'm from a small town, really involved in the community. And for a total lark, I decided to enter the Miss Teen Georgian Bay pageant. Lo and behold, I won. And I went on to win Miss Teen Canada. Now, I tell you that because that set off a whole year of travel across the country. I fell in love with the country. I met people from all walks of life. I did a lot of public speaking. And as a result of that, I was offered a summer job by my local radio station. Now, I never thought of that. I was going to law school. But here I was, and I fell in love with the industry immediately. And the rest is history. In the CBC office, Heather has earned the nickname Preparation H. This is a result of all the hours of research and preparation that she does for her upcoming assignments and newscasts. I admire Heather's impeccable delivery. She asks the right questions and always presents a balanced perspective. She can broadcast fluently, both in English and French. My family is key for sure and the home environment in which I grew up. My mother was a Latin teacher so my sisters and I became living incarnations of mottos like per ardua ad astra, through hard work we reached the stars. Um, we were given every opportunity to discover interests and then we were encouraged to develop those interests and talents to their fullest potential. We worked very hard but we had a lot of fun along the way and that has been my approach ever since to life and to work. Beyond family, I would look to London for powerful examples. In my early years, I was in the company of people like Bill Brady, Barry Smith and Steve Garrison. From them, I learned about the responsibility of a broadcaster to give back and how powerful a role broadcasters can play in doing good in a community for organizations like the Y. To this day, community outreach remains one of the favorite aspects of my work and I look to those London broadcasters as being important role models for me. I'm so fortunate to have entered journalism when I did because it wasn't so long ago that someone like me wouldn't be delivering the news. Women decades ago had voices that were too soft or too delicate, no credibility. They maybe could sell washing machines but not deliver the news. So it was trailblazers like Pamela Wallen or Barbara Frum who really allowed women like me to work as we are today without having to think about gender. My wish is for a return to civility in society, to a kinder, gentler time, if you will. I work every day in a highly charged atmosphere. I see the reaction to various stories we carry in the news every day, and I'm deeply concerned about the divisions and the polarization of society. So my wish is that we would read more, that we would learn more about other people's views, that we would listen to each other and be more respectful of each other's perspectives.